I want to talk about some uh, basic NDI stuff you guys should all be working with. We make a bunch of free NDI tools. They're on our website. How many people have NDI tools downloaded right now? A few of you. Cool. If you want to test if your facility is NDI ready today, you have to spend zero dollars. Download our toolkit onto two computers in your environment. Use Studio Monitor on one of them. This is a Rockstar application. Studio Monitor does a bunch of functions for free. Put that on one computer. And then run Scan Converter on the other computer. Scan Converter will take the desktop or the laptop and turn it into an NDI feed. And Studio Monitor will view that NDI feed. If you can do that today in your facility, you can run an NDI ecosystem in your facility, changing none of your hardware today. Studio Monitor for free does a couple of cool things. First of all, you can run multiple instances on your computer. So you could have your own built-in multi-viewer. So if you've ever done a production multi-viewer, run a bunch of cables to a very expensive three grand monitor and run, done all that, you can do this all today for free in NDI. It will do video, over, audio, and do an overlay. So if you want to do your own picture in picture, you could do that in Studio Monitor. You can remote record today PTZs. And if you trigger an NDI device that has recording, it will tell that device to start recording on its local drive. In NDI 4.0, we will completely change what you're able to do in recording. The short story is, if it's an NDI feed, you will be able to record it. Uh, we can support multi-monitor video, so you can use this for wall signage and things like that. Uh, and it is currently configurable from your phone. You can get a mobile device to configure this guy. We talked about Scan Converter. I am a huge proponent of esports and gaming. Uh, this device, this, this free application, solves all of your gaming needs because all the games run at weird resolutions and different monitor setups and, and however you want. NDI Scan Converter will capture that and present it to any uh, NDI source if it needs to. It also currently will do up to 64, 60 hertz. It's actually, it'll do up to 144. The slide's a little old. So we keep pushing the NDI technology. Again, free. Virtual input, have you ever had to put a production onto something like Zoom or GoToMeeting or Google Hangout, virtual input will convert NDI into a webcam to then present to that presentation. So now I'm no, I'm no longer just doing a traditional PowerPoint. I'm doing a full-scale production into one of these services. That's also available for free. A VLC plugin. How many times are you doing a production if you have sponsors and someone brings a sponsor role five minutes after the show started? How are we going to ingest this video? How are we going to play this thing out? What are we going to do? Run VLC. If you're unfamiliar with VLC, it will play any kind of video in the world. If VLC can't play it, it you probably didn't want to play it in the first place. It's, VLC is free. The plugin is free. Hit play on the VLC player. It is playing on your TriCaster. It is playing in your NDI environment. No transferring. No transcoding. Hit play. Uh, we've talked a lot about early NDI adopters. The Adobe Creative Cloud has a free plugin that will take the same concept we just discussed and let you play off of your Premiere timeline into NDI. So if your editor needs to make some kind of change to a lower third in a piece of uh, B-roll content, you know, something that you guys did in post, and you want to play that out into NDI, well, you know, someone's name is wrong. Let's say it's the CEO of the company. Let's say you spell Mike Cavanaugh's name wrong, right? That's the end of your contract if he sees that. If he sees his name up, the corporate sponsor's not happy, right? Well, now with your, what's up? <laughs> So, so now, instead of having to worry about re-rendering that video, go into your Premiere timeline, change the name, and hit play on that video. It'll play out to the NDI. Some other cool things we have is uh, After Effects for graphics. So you can render full motion graphics, push those in NDI with Alpha, because NDI can push Alpha. And Character Animator. Awesome if you're an educational institution, you just want to have a fun time with the kids. Uh, we've actually had guys Skype into meetings using NDI, using the Adobe Character Animator to pretend to be their webcam. Real fun, real cool uh, applications for that stuff. Again, free. Access Manager. I have a complex network. I need to get NDI across it. Chris, you haven't discussed that. Access Manager does it for free. It will get your NDI to cross subnets. There's a lot of text on there. Within a very short amount of time, this application is going to grow as you start to introduce new features. It can act like its own discovery server. But right now, this is your general purpose way to get NDI over your complex network. Another cool feature that this thing does is let's say I have three production facilities and I have NDI going across all of them. That's going to be a lot of sources. We're talking about 500 sources, potentially. 
if I want to silo this room so all the NDI talks within this room, I can make an access group that only these guys talk to. So we could have everyone talk very freely back and forth, or we could just say, hey, NDI in Studio A and NDI in Studio B, they're separate. They don't cross over. We do that all for free. If you're an engineer, you want to get some test patterns on, bars and tone, we got that in NDI. Obviously, we support that NDIHX. We give you the driver for free so you can access all the products, so you can integrate those into your workflow. Uh, 